HTML reports are extremely powerful, but one small downside of them is they're not as portable as other document formats. They're certainly not as portable as a PDF, which literally stands for Portable Document Format. If you send an HTML file to a non-technical person, there's a decent chance they'll struggle to open your file. So in many cases, the most reliable way to share your file is going to be to host that HTML file on the web and share the link with your collaborators. This used to be quite difficult, but new tools have made this much easier. In this lesson, we're going to learn about deploying HTML pages to GitHub pages, which is an easy way to share your HTML files. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a repository that has an HTML file in it, which we want to deploy to the web. So let's go ahead and create that repository. I'm going to open my GitHub desktop and then I'm going to go to um, file and then new repository. And let's create a repository called um, hello pages. Okay. Just introducing ourselves to the pages workflow and let's add an R git ignore to that as well. So I'm going to click here on R under the Git Ignore option and create repository. And I'm going to publish that to my account online. And I'm going to uncheck this so that the code can be public, because if the code is not public, then it can't be published to the web. So publish repository. So now that that's done, I need to put an HTML file in this repository. And the easiest way to do that, of course, is to render it from uh, our markdown or Quarto. So let's uh, create an RStudio project and put an R Markdown or Quarto file in there. Uh, so I'm going to open up my RStudio and then I'm going to go to File and then a New Project. And I'm going to create it from an existing directory. And that directory, of course, is going to be the Hello Pages uh, directory that we just created with uh, GitHub Desktop. And I create Project. And now if I go to the files tab here, we can see our uh, existing files and I see that the hidden folders are not shown and uh, that gives me anxiety. So I'm going to click here and just show the hidden folders, not because I need them, but because I like to see everything that's on my computer. So click here on show hidden files. And now you can see your Git repository and your rproj user file. So in order to add an HTML file to this repository, we need to uh, render an R markdown or quarto. In this case, I'm going to use a Quarto since we're in the process of learning that. So let's use Quarto and we're going to call this index.qmd. Uh, it's important to use the word index here, all lowercase. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about why in a second. So use the word index.qmd uh, and let's create that. And let's give this a title. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it my first page. Okay. And let's put some very simple code in there. I'll open a new um, code chunk and I'm going to load the reactable uh, package, the reactable library. Uh, usually I use Pacman, pload, blah, blah, blah. But since this is a very simple script and I don't care too much about reproducibility, then I'll just load it directly like that. OK, and then let's put uh, let's render a reactable of the invert data set, which is a built in our data set. So this is just going to be a very, very simple um, a Quarto file. I, I can render this to see what it looks like. All right, so now we have that R, um, that uh, HTML file. If I go back to my files tab, I can see it in there, index.html. And let's actually add one more thing to this. Let's add a plot. So I'm just going to do a plot of the women data set. I don't know how to type. Okay, and let's render that again. And I want to do that just so I can show you some of the important features of the HTML files. So if you click on this and you click open in editor rather than open in the web browser, open in the editor, this shows you the raw uh, code, the raw HTML, CSS and JavaScript that is creating the page. Okay. And you can scroll through to get a sense of how it is creating all of these uh, elements, right? Uh, one element you may see as you scroll through is you can see how the table is stored in there. So it's just stored literally as text inside of there, a very big thing. And after that table element, you may see this image section here, image. And it says the source is index files slash figure hyphen HTML slash unnamed chunk, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
So the way that uh, this index.html, when we look at it in our web browser, is able to uh, embed that image is it's actually getting the image from this index underscore files folder, uh, specifically in the figure HTML uh, subfolder of that. And this is that image that we rendered, the plot of women, as you can see. Okay, so now we have the index.html ready to be sent up to the web. All we have to do is open up our GitHub and commit and push this file. So let's go ahead, open GitHub. I'll go to my Hello Pages uh, repository. And I'm just going to say uh, created page as my commit message. Click commit to main and then push to origin. And now I need to open this up on github.com. So I can right click on this section here and click on view on GitHub. That's the fastest way to get to the page. And here I can confirm that my index.html file is present. So I'm going to then go to my settings tab here at the top right. And then specifically to pages here, pages under code and automation. And this is where I'm going to deploy my GitHub a page. So I don't have to touch a lot of things. All I need to do is set the branch, the source branch. And we only have one branch, that's our main branch. And we're going to leave this as the root directory and just click on save here. And now it says your GitHub pages site is currently being built from the main branch. So it's currently in the process of running. If you want to see um, the, the actions being taken as it's trying to deploy, you can click on this actions button here on the top. And it, you can see there's one workflow run on your uh, repository, pages build and deployment. So if you want, you can track how this goes. Usually this takes about one to two minutes. Sometimes it can take very long, up to an hour. But if it starts to take longer than an hour, there may be some problem. So you may want to um, go and check your code or just commit and push again because restarting the process sometimes helps. Okay, But now I think it seems to be done. So if we go back to this pages tab, you can see now uh, it says your site is live at kendaviden-tgc. So this is going to be your uh, GitHub username, .github.io. That's always going to be there. And then Hello Pages is the name of the repository, Hello Pages. So now if I click on this here, I'm going to see that page that I just created, my first page with the uh, library here and the plot. So now this is a link that I can send to anyone on earth and they will be able to immediately access that. Now let's quickly talk about why we wanted to call this file index.rmd. Uh, the reason is that by default, the home page of any website is the file called index. So this page is technically kendavidntgcgithub.io uh, slash hello pages slash index. But if you type that in, you'll see it'll go to the same page, right? So let's add another page just so we can see how you can put multiple pages in the same repo. So I'm going to open up my RStudio again, and then let's make a new blank file and uh, a quarto doc. And let's call this one, I don't know, second page maybe. And I'll just copy everything from here, from the index, and put it in second page. And I'll change this name to my second page. And instead of invert, maybe we can make a plot, uh, reactable of iris. And we can also do a plot of iris. Okay. And I need to make sure I render this so that I actually get an HTML file in my repository here. All right, so here's our file. And if we go back to files, we can confirm that we have second page.html. So let's commit this, go back to GitHub desktop. We commit this new change, second page.qmd. I'll just leave everything checked basically. And I'm going to say added second page, commit to main, and then push to origin. And now immediately you push uh, GitHub. If we go back to the GitHub website, let's right click here and view on GitHub. GitHub is going to start trying to render another um, version of this page. As you can see, it says here pending at the top. So it's trying to render the new version. It may take, again, a minute or two, or uh, sometimes much longer, depending on how much traffic there is on GitHub. But we can keep refreshing, or we can look at the Actions tab here to see when it uh, finishes. At the moment, it's still deploying. And it looks to be done now. So we can directly click on this link or we can go back to the pages uh, setting or so on. Uh, you just need to get to this link. So here now is still our index.html. Even though the URL says just hello pages, is technically index.html. And if we want to go to the second page, we just type slash second, second underscore page. And now this brings us to our second page. 
but if you don't put anything after the hello pages, the name of the repository, it will take you by default to the index page. The most useless kind of data analysis reports are reports that are read by nobody. Deploying your reports to the web with a URL you can easily share and that can be found, for example, through Google is a fantastic way to make sure that your reports can be seen by a wider audience. Later on, we're going to show you how to create simple websites that connect multiple pages together. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.